Oh. Okay. Got to that. <sighs> Good morning. So the next couple of days are going to be particularly interesting. I have a whole bunch of stuff on the agenda. Two main things. One, I want to record a miniature painting video. So oil painting on a teeny tiny canvas. Where's where's my where did I put my canvas? Here it is. Over here. Okay. Cool. So teeny tiny canvas, and I have a spare. So that's cool. Look at that. I saw them, them at Spotlight and I just thought, that's perfect. So I'm going to do a painting on that. Um, so there's quite a bit of setting up to do because I want to make it look as cool as possible. I'm going to use my cut box for the multiple cameras, but as you can tell, my whole office is a mess. And uh, I need to have it all cleaned up and looking really good for two reasons. The first is that with a multiple camera set up and trying to show a whole bunch of different angles, it's going to show more of the room and I want it to look nice. And the second reason is I have a news crew coming here tomorrow and if they want to capture footage at the studio, it's got to look nice too. But it's going to be hard to make it look nice because there's going to be like five extra cameras. So I'm going to have to try and neaten everything up as much as possible. And I'm going to hide a whole bunch of this stuff and set the cut box up on there. Basically, I'm going to spend the first half of today organizing and cleaning everything up. And the second half setting up for that video and recording the first half of the video. I don't plan on getting through the, the recorded content. And then tomorrow morning, I'll have the news interview thing. And then in the second half of the day, I'll, uh, I'll do the rest of the, the miniature painting video. So the plan is I'm going to juxtapose the teeny tiny canvas with the giant, well, you know, not giant, but actual canvas, uh, which will sort of be a background, background prop just to uh, compare them against one another. Uh, and then after a bit of cleaning up, I'll have some cool different camera angles just showing the whole room. And, uh, and yeah, I'll organize a whole bunch of stuff. I also want to cut these brushes short, like about that long. So I have teeny brushes. Uh, but the only thing missing is a teeny palette so that I can paint on the little canvas with little brushes using a little palette. Uh, so, I mean, I do have this thing, which is, was a brush holder, but I'm just going to use it as like a, a little mat to go under the canvas so it looks like a teeny weeny drop sheet. Unfortunately, I don't have teeny weeny palette knives. This is as close as I can get. So what I'm going to do is go to the hardware store and get a couple of teeny weeny little props, uh, something I can use to make the little palette out of. And uh, if there's anything that can be used as a palette knife, I'll have a quick look around for that. But otherwise, I just need to get a couple of teeny, teeny weeny odds and ends and I'll come here and set up shop. Do you know, funnily enough, the best thing I've found so far is this giant no smoking sign. It's plastic, so it won't absorb the paint as I put it on. I don't know if the terps will dissolve it because I'm using oil paint, but I, you know, I should be all right. And I can cut the shape out of there, but then I'll just, <laughs> then I'll have a leftover giant no smoking sign with a pallet shaped hole in it. <laughs> oh, well, why not? I can't find anything resembling a miniature pallet knife, so my little ones will have to do, but uh, I've just got some cutting tools and my giant no smoking sign, so it should be good, <laughs> good to go. <laughs> prepped some of my mini art supplies and my palette uh, but now I really need to get a move on and clean up this place and set up the shoot so uh, I guess I'll just go in time-lapse mode I'll see if I can get Rachel's help and we'll just like go crazy through this place and neaten it up because it needs it Wow, okay, I, I am done setting up. However, it's nearly the end of the day and I haven't had a chance to start, but I don't want to start because uh, I feel like I just want to do all of this tomorrow and just hit the ground running. But I want to take you on a tour through this setup because this is one of the most complex, but to me, fun camera setups I've, I've ever set up. And the best part is because I'm using the cut box, 
recording with the cameras is just so much easier. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to uh, give you a tour in two parts. The first is the video itself. So I'm going to be using my mini canvas, I got my mini palette, I got my mini brushes, and my palette knives, paint, and just everything else I need, and magnifying glass, so that's, that's useful. And I'm going to be following a Bob Ross video for my video to see if I can replicate a masterwork of Bob Ross on this little thing. I think it'll be really fun. The second part of this little tour is the camera setup, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so I'm using the cut box, and this screen here is set up as a monitor to the cut box. So the cut box is actually over back there. You can see the switcher screen back there. But I just have a HDMI running from the cut box to the screen so that when I press this to switch cameras, it just uh, shows up on that monitor. So I can see really clearly if I'm in focus, if everything's like in shot, and just, yeah, I'm very excited. I get to, yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, anyways, point is, I have uh, I have my number one camera here where you can see Bob Ross and my painting. Number two is uh, a bit of a, bit of a, a drama shot looking up. So as I paint like this, it'll be like, oh, look, I'm painting with my little painting thing in it. And you can see what that looks like. And then we have camera three, which is a, a close-up of the canvas. You can see they're coming from these cameras here. And then we have my HDMI, which is my Lumix. So I have four cameras set up, and it's going to be as simple as hitting record, and it'll be recording. So that's super exciting. I'm going to have backup audio, so I'll be recording audio on my desktop, uh, but I'll also be using a wireless mic for the, the Lumix camera. Then that aside, I have two other cameras that I'm using that aren't related to Cutbox, purely to show off the Cutbox. And the first is this GoPro, uh, and I'm not going to have these two GoPros. There's another one that I'll be using over there. I'm not going to have them recording for the entirety of the video, but just for the start, just to give some context as to how I'm recording it, because I want to give a big shout out to Cutbox. Uh, uh, because they're in the middle of a Kickstarter, and I, I'm really excited about their setup. Like these, it comes with three cameras, one, two, three, and a HDMI in, so you can plug in an extra camera. So I could plug in the GoPro if I wanted to, but I'm using my Lumix. It comes with a mic, it comes with a monitor, it comes with everything. But anyways, so I wanted to uh, cut to this GoPro for a moment just to show the whole setup with all the cameras and just to give it a quick plug. And then over behind here is the cup box. How simple is that? So you got the cup, cup box switcher screen, you can make your edits to your camera angles and all that stuff. And then this GoPro is gonna be showing a little bit of a bit of a hero shot of our cut box there in action. So I'll turn these off for now because I don't need them on until tomorrow. But that is my setup. And like I said, it's one of the more complex that I've set up, you know, with in total, there's what, six cameras? Plus I'll be recording the, the Bob Ross video like screen. So that's like seven video files in total. And yet it's gonna be really simple to record and sync. Like, I'm so happy. <laughs> so having said all of that, this is ready to go. I am gonna shut it all down and gently walk away and, uh, and wrap up on time tonight. I feel like I'm finally back on track. It's 10 to 5 p.m. How good is that? I'm finishing off like 10 minutes early. All right, I'm gonna wrap up with a question of the day, and I, I think maybe because I have so much time on my hands to finish up, I have a whole five minutes, I'm gonna answer two. So the first one I'll take from Kim San, who says, do you still do all the editing by yourself because you hardly talk about your editors? Uh, I don't, I get help from two different editors. I used to have an editor called Lee, some of you might remember, he was part of the vlogs every now and then. He ended up getting a job elsewhere in a production company, so we were really happy for him. But I think one of the reasons I sort of don't talk about the editors as much is because I also learned by having someone so involved in the vlogs from time to time, it made it a little bit awkward when he got a job elsewhere and like it might have been something people thought there was I don't know, hard feelings behind or something. And I just thought that was unfortunate for him to that 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 a few people thought that. So I, ju I just try and keep it on the DL now. We work with editors, but uh, I just sort of work with them as part of the business on the side and don't involve too much of working with them in the narrative of the vlogs. Uh, that aside, I do edit some videos myself from time to time. So the, the Venom video that came out just a couple of days ago, I edited that myself because I had a short turnaround and I wanted that to come out soon. Uh, and then also I do like fine tune editing on the stuff that comes in from the people we outsource to. Uh, the second question, uh, just a quick one, uh, Cookie Love 3 says, how do you get all these vlogs out so fast? The stream was yesterday and the vlog is out already. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the answer to that is 
I don't have much production value on the vlogs. I just film it on my phone. I edit it in an app on my phone whenever I get spare time. But sometimes if I'm putting MJ to bed after we read a book, sometimes he says, watch Dada. So that's like, I'll edit the vlog for five minutes and he'll watch a bit of what happened that day. Like tonight, for instance. Say hi. Hi. All right. Back to the video. So really I just fit it in throughout the day and that way I can upload it and release it the next morning. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We have a TV interview and we have an ambitious miniature art video to come. So I'll see you then.